It's been a while, hasn't it? Hi. Um, I cut my hair. It was, you know, like, I don't know how long. It was like past here. And now it's here. I cut my hair. Hee. Hey guys, it's me Maddie, and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. So today I'm bringing you the mid-year book freakout tag. I wanted to do this last year, but I didn't read enough books by the ha by the end of the middle half of the year to do this. And then I felt like I couldn't do the end of the year book tag because I didn't do the middle of uh, middle the book middle mid book freakout. What is mid-year book? What is the thing of this thing called? What is the thing? What's the title of this? I don't know, but I'm doing it anyway, so hi. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I've read 19 books so far this year, and by, by the time you're seeing this, I've probably read 20 or 21. Uh, very proud of that. But yet, I feel like a lot of these answers are the exact same. Like, I don't know. But let's just get on into this, because I'm super excited to do this video. So, haven't filmed in a long time either, so uh, forgive me if I'm all over the place. But then again, when, when am I not all over the place? You know, I, I've never not been all over the place. So the first question is the best book I've read so far in 2020, and that is The Phoenix Host by C.K. Miller. This is definitely the best book I've read so far this year. Um, this is the first book that I gave five stars this year, besides another more, I think. I think I read Nevermore before I read this book. But I've just compared every other book I've read this year that I think I could give five stars to this one. I'm like, is it as good as this book? Does it deserve those five stars? And most of the time, it doesn't like compare to how I felt and how I feel about this book. This is basically a, this is a self-published book about a girl named Kia and she is suffering from these nightmares and they are really like at first they were just like nightmares but the more she gets these nightmares the more um severe her outcomes come outcomes become you know she her nose starts to bleed and then her eyes are bleeding along with her nose and then blood's coming from her ears her eyes and her nose so these nightmares are becoming worse and worse and worse so basically she is supposed to escort a noble woman to the prince's coronation and they gotta go they get on a boat and they have to go far along the land to go there and while aboard the boat kia gets framed for a murder and um, basically she has to run for her life and while she's on the run for her life the nightmare why the reason she has these nightmares start to become unraveled and it's just such a great book the characters are so phenomenal and it just it really it holds up to me it holds my attention and it just it, it holds my heart it is definitely my heart I would say so far this year it's my heart so the next question is the best sequel you've read so far this year and for that I'm going to be doing Lodestar by Shannon Messenger. This is the fifth book in the Keeper of the Lost City series and I this is the most recent one that I've read and finished and I gave this five out of five stars. I think this is the best sequel. I mean you could like you could argue that this isn't the best sequel like the pre the second and the third book are the best ones but I just liked this one so much. This is the only book besides the first book out of this series that I've given five stars. And I really... Sorry, that was a 10. And I just really love this book. I love the characters and I love the friendship dynamic. And this one, it just... It really got to me. You know, I cried at the end, and that really is what pushed it up from a 4 to a 5. So the next question is a new release you haven't read yet but want to, and for that I have my Calamity Jane by the Lady Janies, and um, a song, a book of songbirds and snakes, whatever the stupid title is. I would also like to read those two. So those are the two that have came out that I haven't read yet but I want to. I'm more excited for the... Uh, book by the Lady Janies because I liked the first two a lot. I found them fun and enjoyable and I usually read them on vacation but <laughs> vacations aren't happening this year. And then the Hunger Games prequel sounds exciting and interesting. I read the Hunger Games for the first time last year and yeah I would like to read it but like I don't want to pay 30 bucks for it or whatever. So like I want to read it but also do I really want to read it? 
So the next one is most anticipated release for the second half of the year. And I would have said Hollow Pox by Jessica Townsend, but my excitement for this book has really dwindled since the beginning of the year. It got pushed back to August, and then I think it was to September, and then it got pushed back to August. Nope, August, then September, and now it's been pushed back all the way till the end of October, and I really just don't have a, like, excitement for that book, because it's just, I, honestly, if she wants to push it back all the way till March of next year, I wouldn't care, because I don't have an excitement to read Hollow Pox, but... I do have an excitement for Maya and the Rising Dark by um, Renna Barron. I loved her debut novel and I'm super excited for this. It's a middle grade fantasy and it just sounds so freaking good. And I like Renna Barron. I loved her first book and I'm hoping to like this book as well. And hey, it did get pushed back, but only till the end of September, so woo! It ain't that long of a wait. Actually, beginning of September. I think it's September 9th, so even shorter. Oh, I forgot the book came out this year. But the next question is your biggest disappointment of 2020, and for that I have House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass. I gave this book two stars. It was just really bad. It was really info dumpy, and I realized now that I've stopped describing what books are about, so it's just not something I do. But this was just a really info dumpy book, and it just was really boring and really just like a copy and paste of Sarah J Mass's previous books just with a bigger price stamp and it's mm. so the next question the next question is your biggest surprise and for that I have The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I picked this book because it was like the most popular book of 2019 in my opinion. I heard about it a lot and I have a video series where each year I read the most popular book of the previous year. So I picked this one for that. And I really didn't think I was going to like it because it is like a literary fiction maybe. I don't really know if that's what it is. But it's just, it's not a fantasy story. It's just a story about a famous actor and her life. And I really liked it. I gave it four out of five stars. I really liked this book. And it really surprised me. I didn't think I was going to like this much, like it this much. And I didn't like get surprised by anything. Like I predicted stuff in this book, but I still liked it a lot more than I thought it was going to. So definitely my biggest surprise so far. So the next question is a new favorite author. And for that, I'm going to have to go with C.K. Miller. I've only read her debut novel, The Phoenix Host, but it was really good and it really drew me in. And I'm really excited to read her other books. And I really... I think she's going to be a new favorite because I think she really has talent and I think she's going places and I would like to follow her along on her journey. So the next one is a newest fictional crush and I'm going to have to give you two options. The first one is Connor from House of Earth and Blood, but he's dead. Um, so the next one is Kifi from the Keeper of the Lost City series and he's uh, 14, 15 years old. I'm 15 years old. It's not weird because we are the same age. So definitely I have to say Keefe. I absolutely love his personality. Like Fitz is much more like on like the physical like, attributes are much more my type. But Keefe has the personality that I love. And I absolutely love Keefe way more than I love Fitz from that series. So I just love his goofy, jokey personality. And I would definitely have to say my newest fictional crush is Keefe. Like I... Biggest shipper of Kifi. So Kifi and Sophie. I love them together. But I also love Kifi, so. The next one goes right along with it, which is my new favorite character, and that's Kifi as well. I it used to be Dex from the series. I was like a big ship a big uh like speaker of Dex deserves better. But I love my boy I love my boy Keef. I really love him, so it's definitely Kifi. The next question is a book that made you cry, and that is either Everblaze by uh, Shannon Messenger or Lone Star by Shannon Messenger. Um, these both made me cry because stuff happened in them and characters died, and they were really emotional for me, and I know. I know they don't match. I think that's also why they made me cry, because look at this book. It is not the same type, even though I got them both from Amazon and then both were in paperback. 
It's so annoying. It really looks ugly on the shelf. But I would say these two are the ones that made me cry. I don't think another book this year has made me cry. That's weird. I'm a really emotional person, so. Hmm. Oh, it is hot in my room. Next question is a book that made you happy, and for that, I would have to say Kingdom of Exiles by Maxima and Martinu. This book is just beautiful, and the, the animals. The animals in this book are my favorite thing about this book and the series. It's supposed to be a tri trilogy. Just the every time an animal was on the page, I was smiling, and there's this one animal that is a wolf-like creature, and it had a floppy tongue, and it's just... I love this book, and I also like Knox, who's a character. He's like a dead assassin. He's a dead person who kills other people, and um, cute animals and dead people killing other people? Sounds like something right up my alley. The next question is the most beautiful book you bought this year or received, and I'm going to have to go with A Tale of Magic by Chris Colfer. Uh, the cover, the dust jacket is really pretty, but I picked this book because of when it's naked. I think it's absolutely freaking gorgeous. Like, I think this is just a cute, like, image, and so I think this is definitely the prettiest book I've received and bought this year. And then the final question is, what book or books do you need to read by the end of the year? And I really only have one option for this. And that is The Lathiathan Prince by C.K. Miller. This is the sequel to The Phoenix Host. And I'm really scared to read this because it's got like arranged marriages and I'm just afraid for my characters and my babies that I've come to love in the first book. So I'm really scared to read this book. Anyway guys, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe down below because I post videos on this channel every single Monday. And so I will see you guys all next Monday for another video. And yes, this is being filmed on my phone because my camera died and it's out of storage. Actually, it didn't die. It just, the memory card has no more storage left on it. So, yay.